It is a day of first here at Disneyland. Today we are doing a bunch of stuff in the park that I have never done before. I am in the park today with my friend Juliet, my friend and local Disneyland expert Juliet, and we were just talking and I was like, wait, there's still a bunch of things at the park that I have never done before. There's a couple rides, a couple snacks I've never tried, and still a bunch of restaurants I haven't been to. So I think today we're gonna try and knock some of those things off the list. What do you say, pal? It's a day of first. Okay, so at this point I have been to Disneyland quite a bit. <laughs> in the the recent year um and every time i come i try and like do one thing or two things a couple things that i've never done before last time i did cross a couple things off my bucket list i rode dumbo for the first time here i did goofy sky school and i feel like there's something else that i forgot but today we're gonna knock even more off that list starting with something that i am most excited for and i am dragging juliet to no. do with me uh the canoes it, this is one of the experiences that you, if you have done it at Disneyland, you understand that while it can seem fun on the surface, it's manual labor, you're gonna get splashed with water, it's high risk. We get splashed with water? Yeah, definitely. Maybe I'm not looking forward to it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, well, pretty soon this is gonna be us cruising along the river. What is this river called? In Disney World, it's called the Rivers of America. What is it called here? Freezing up! Uh, <laughs> I, I don't actually, I, I think, I feel like I know this, I just don't, I don't know, I don't uh, know. All right, hold on. We have to fail, fail. What is it called? Fail. Definitely not, I don't think it's called the Rivers of America. Why it's called the Phantasmic it's River. River. No, it's not. Right now there is no Phantasmic, so it's the Unphantasmic River. What is the river called? Look at this fake it's Disneyland it's local. Fraud. Oh, wait, wait, it's still called the Rivers of America. Okay, that's why. The fact that I knew this just from guessing. I knew that the one at Disney World was called Rivers of America. I just like wanted to make sure it was not different here. It's smaller, it's a smaller America here. Well, good try. All right, this is it, folks. Juliet seems to think I don't know what I'm in for. Um, and I think I do because I've seen videos of it. Um, but I, what I do know is that I don't think I'll be able to film much because you actually have to paddle these canoes. I'm taking, I'm taking my jacket off for this, okay? Should this I is, take my sweater This is off? the best workout at Disneyland. <laughs> Our chariot awaits. Here we go. We're waiting for 10 people to come because you need 10 people to paddle these canoes. Should we get a life jacket? Probably. We might need it. <laughs> Man overboard. Well, here, here we are. I think we're actually going to sink. This is a real Possibly? canoe. It's not like a simulated Disneyland ride experience. This is it. This is it. You're really canoeing. <laughs> it's so crazy how this is. This would never be a they thing at never Disney World. This. This, never would this would never, never be allowed. No, no. This, is, <laughs> this is an experience. Yeah, you could actually sure. follow the water. Maybe you will. At least there's not gators here, right? No, no gators. Oh my gosh. This is it. The moment of truth. Here we go. I'm gonna go backwards three strokes. Ready, one, two, three, one. We're holding for traffic from the Mark Twain. My arm I don't want to race that boat because we called it. We My arm doesn't hurt. We have to go again on the second and we side were yellow. Switch. We'll go again. Time. I'll do it. We just got off the canoes, and I have thoughts. I actually think it was really cool and like really unique. And I liked the actual experience. And I did not think it was as much work as I thought it was going to be. Um, however, I was not seated by the great, the best of people. The little kid in front of me couldn't keep up the paddle, so it was just hitting mine the entire time. And then also she kept splashing me. Um, so my jeans are pretty wet. The father behind me didn't, I don't think, put his paddle in the water one single time, I don't think. And then the kid behind him was also splashing me from the back. So I was just getting splashed in the water from the front, from the back. But other than that, it was a good time. I would do it again. All those things are just operational hazards of riding the canoes. At yeah, I feel like it's just like... Operational hazards. It's just luck of the draw. If you get a good seat, you'll be A-OK. -okay. But if you're um, pretty much seated by any small little children, you're probably going to get a little uh, splashed. But it was still fun. First time on the canoes. 
check what's next, huh? Well, what have you? What else haven't you done? There's quite a few things. What do we say? Should we go over the Mark Twain Island, which is traumatizing? Is that what it's called, Mark Twain Island? I think so. Yeah. In Magic Kingdom, it's, it's called Tom Sawyer Island. Oh God. It definitely could also be called Tom Sawyer Island. I've, I've literally gone over to Tom Sawyer Island, I think one time on record. Because here's the thing, is you can get trapped waiting for the boats, and so you can unexpectedly have a very long trip to the island. Okay, well, also, it's like a really nice day, so it wouldn't be that bad to get stuck there for that long. But the reason I don't go in Magic Kingdom is because it's unbearably hot all the time. Oh. Yeah, you're not going to have to worry about that. It is a beautiful day. We got good weather. Okay, should we go over there? Let's do it. Let's okay, so it is the rafts to Pirate's Lair, but you could see under that little board that they have there, it actually says Tom Sawyer. Oh, so yeah, it's like covered up. I think it is Tom Sawyer Island, and we just missed the boat, so we're going to have to wait uh, for the next one. Next stop, Pirate's Lair. Sing us a song, madame. Yo ho, yo ho, Tom Sawyer's Pirate Lair. I'm going to get some treasure and get some loot and get stuck on the island for maybe a while. That's all, the, that's all the lyrics I have. <laughs> One out of ten. Whoa, we've been on this river all day today so far. We're just we're just cruising the rivers of America and exploring all there is to do on the rivers here. Okay, well we have made it to the Pirate's Lair, AKA, I guess, Tom Sawyer Island. And one of the main draws to coming here to the Pirate's Lair is that we are, I am currently standing where Fantasmic here in Disneyland takes place. Like where I'm coming down the steps right now, I'm pretty sure this is where Maleficent caught fire, right here, right? Yeah. Right here, this has to be where Murphy. Maleficent, Murphy comes up, Mickey's all up in here doing his little thing for Fantasmic. I don't know the Disneyland choreography. Juliet's trying to get me to do it, but I don't know it. But still, this is really cool being up here. And hopefully Fantasmic comes back soon. Um, and now I'm good to go back. Okay, I was half kidding. We did walk around a little bit more on the island. Um, and we also, but that's... Um, we plundered some booty as well. <laughs> Yo! Not that, not, not that Why would of... you say no, that? Not that booty, <laughs> like pirate's booty. Well, I'm just gonna say what you're all thinking. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> but yeah, at this point we are going back. Uh, that's all I needed for today. Uh, but I'm glad to get to say I've finally been on Disneyland's Tom Sawyer Island. A first for me, and we're about to miss the boat back. So we got we got to power through here. Another thing that I decided to do today is ride the Mark Twain, which I am currently on. I can't remember if I've ever done it or not. I genuinely do not remember if I have. There's a good chance I might have, but again, I don't remember what it's like, and it's just such a beautiful day out today. So I wanted to, you know, catch a ride around the rivers of America since we've done pretty much everything else on the river today. Might as well also do the Mark Twain. Wow, I am so happy that I decided to do the Mark Twain today. It is so incredibly cozy up here this was the best decision I've made all day and it's just got me thinking about like the possibility of the things that you could do with the Mark Twain I know over in Disney World and Magic Kingdom on our riverboat they did have a dessert party with like Tiana and Lewis I believe at one point like pre-COVID um, it never came back but I just imagine having like a dinner party on the Mark Twain kind of when it starts you drive the boat over kind of park it kind of maybe by like Pirates of the Caribbean or honestly you, you could just park it like on random stops throughout the river uh, throughout the night have maybe like a bar just like a dinner party just like you could have like a jazz band on board have a have a nice dinner party with a bar i don't know maybe they've done this in the past and i just don't know about it but i am just thinking about it and thinking about the copious amounts of money that i would spend to experience something like that so uh yeah that'd be sick okay next up on our list of firsts here at Disneyland is actually going to be a snack. It's getting around lunchtime. I'm getting pretty hungry. So I'm going to stop to get a iconic Disneyland food that I've never gotten before. Kind of tucked away a little hidden on the way into the Fantasyland Theater is the Troubadour Tavern, which is actually home to one of my all-time favorite foods here at Disneyland, the Bearberry Popcorn. But they also have something else that is so iconic to the park that I haven't tried before, and that is the Loaded Baked Potato. This is the Pride Lands Potato. It has butter, sour cream, cheese, bacon bits, and green onions for $8.49. I brought my potato back to Toontown to eat. 
and I am ready to dive into this. This potato is huge, and potatoes are all the craze these days on TikTok. Have you guys seen like the jacket potato trend um, for, like from the UK? So I feel like I'm eating a UK jacket potato just here in Anaheim. <laughs> the fact that you can just casually grab this good of a loaded baked potato in Disneyland is just wild to me. <laughs> I got people coming up to me left and right asking me where I got this potato because it looks so good and they are definitely right. Not only does it look good, it tastes so good. Only thing is I could do without some of the butter that they put on here, there is a lot. And I could do for more green onions. I love green onions on stuff. There's only like a couple sprinkled on top. I could, I could just load this thing up with green onions. But yeah, this is such a great snack here. It's like very reasonably priced too, like a little over eight bucks for a huge load of baked potato. You can share it as a snack or you can have this thing as a whole meal. Post snack, we do have a little bit of time before our dining reservation, which is actually gonna be at Riverbell Terrace. Never been there before, so I figured today was the day to dine there, but we also have time for another ride before we head over to our dinner. So let's check out Star Tours. Now I do have to say, Star Tours is not my first choice of attraction. Not only do I not like Star Wars, this ride does make me a little bit sick. We have it in Hollywood Studios, but I've never been on it here in Disneyland. So this is like the OG, Eisner Star Tours. Michael Eisner walked on this ground right here. Can you please share your favorite Star Wars character for the for our friends at home? Babu Freak. No, she doesn't know any other Star Wars. Character. She couldn't tell you Luke Skywalker's name, but like I could Babu not. Freak, the most I, niche. Disney we discovered this because you like. At, what were you asking one day? And I was like, Oh, Babu Freak. <laughs> and I got it. I got the answer right. You that, did. I think it's just because like one of my old roommates from my college programs used to love Babu Freak, so I knew who that was. <laughs> but it, it is a random. Is Babu Freak in this? No. <laughs> Damn, I don't want to go on. <laughs> okay, but in all seriousness, I really usually don't ride this ride. When my friends want to go on this in Hollywood Studios, I'm like, okay, I'll go sit at baseline, grab myself a beverage while you guys enjoy. Um, but if I really get forced to go on, I will do it. I just have to close my eyes the whole time. So eyes will be closed uh, the whole time we're on this. I am truly not ready for this. I usually don't even put on the glasses because I just close my eyes the whole time, but um, bye bye. Where are we going? Oh my God. Why did I do this to myself? This is madness. There's so much movement. I regret this so much. Oh, that just is not fun for me. If that lasted like a minute longer, I think I would have actually been sick. Um, so yeah, I'm glad to say I did it one time, but that might honestly be my last time ever going on Star Tours. I, I think that did it for me. I feel like whatever scene we got like moved just so much more than usual that that's gonna be my last time on Star Tours, possibly ever. I've had enough recovery time as I possibly could before dinner. Thank God we're eating after Star Tours and not before. Um, but yeah, we're here at River, River Bell Terrace for dinner. Um, honestly, I haven't been to that many like sit down restaurants in Disneyland. There are not too many sit down uh, restaurants here in the parks. There's, we have way more over in Disney World and I think that's one area that like Disney World excels over Disneyland in, in is um, like sit down dining restaurants. My favorites here would have to be like Carnation Cafe is number one. I also love Cafe Orleans, but I've been to both those places. So I wanted to check out something new, new to me, my first time at River Bell Terrace. They're pretty much serving up like classic American comfort food here at River Bell Terrace. They also have a really beautiful outdoor dining patio that I would love to dine at today, but um, Juliet's cold. So uh, we're not gonna dine outside. We're gonna be inside. Um, but yeah, all the food looks really good. I'm, ex I'm excited to try it out. We made it inside. Look at this cozy little corner that we're at here. It's a very cozy booth. We're, we're extremely cozy. It is extremely cozy. We're like tucked away in a little corner here. If Nate were here, he would say nobody puts baby in a corner, but he's not, so I'll say it. <laughs> this is definitely an interesting menu. I didn't really look over it too much before making the reservation, and you could see there are only entrees on the menu, no appetizers, but let's go over them. They have a platter with like brisket, fried chicken, all the sides there, 
warm bacon and spinach salad. That sounds kind of good. It has a bacon vinaigrette. There's also loaded house fries, chicken pot pie soup, which is what I am eyeing, deviled meatballs. Those are plant-based. They have a pork chop. That sounds kind of good, too. Fried chicken sandwich, blackened fish, roasted squash, and then barbecue burnt ends pasta. If I wasn't getting the chicken pot pie soup, I would totally get this pasta. Juliet, when is the last time you have dined at the River Bell Terrace? Mm, I think it's been like two years, but I'm still actually thinking about the burnt and grilled cheese that I had from here. You can get it on the brunch menu, and it is like... Yeah, no burnt and grilled cheese on the dinner menu here. I, they do have a brunch here, too. Totally different things on the menu. And Juliet was telling me they also used to have, like, a monkey bread. Oh, my God. The monkey bread is legendary. I don't understand why it's not on the menu. I, I'm going on forums to see if people are raging to bring back this monkey bread because it is was one of my favorite Disneyland desserts. Yeah, well, to, I feel like all today I've been getting Juliet to do stuff that she usually doesn't do. So... I'm so happy to be influencing you to do all this stuff. Yeah, I mean, like Tom Sawyer Island, the canoes. This Carnation. Though. We Also, we went to Carnation Cafe for breakfast, which I didn't document. But, yeah, we're doing all, all this stuff for me for the first time and for Juliet for the first time in forever. For the first time. Well, all of the food has come out. And I got to say, I think I made the wrong decision here. My chicken pot pie soup not only came out with a thumb in the soup, but also it doesn't look as good as all of the fried chicken on Juliet and Nick's plates. Oh, that crunch. Oh my God, that looks so, I'm seriously regretting so much right now. This is the chicken pot pie soup. It has chicken, a biscuit, and chives for $23. This just looks so sad with like the biscuit like crumbled up in it and the soup like just doesn't look thick at all. Oh, and it was also like $23 for legit a bowl of I thought it was going to, I guess I should have expected a bowl of soup because it literally, literally says chicken pot pie soup. But like, this is probably the most expensive soup money can buy. $23 for a bowl of soup. Here we go. It's not even hot. It's very salty as well. The flavor is good other than the extreme salt. The biscuit's actually really nice in there. But yeah, it's not hot. It's barely warm. We're just like, just there at warm. And it is definitely a little too thin. Not that many full veggies. The veggies are very like finely chopped in there. I'm just picking apart this soup, guys. But this is, this is my honest opinion on it. Um... I knew I would regret my decision as soon as I saw the other food come to the table, and yeah, that is definitely happening right now. Nick is so kind to let me try some of his fried chicken. Ooh. Wait, that's so good. That fried chicken is so good. I agree with you, a little salty as well, but other than that, it has maybe like a little Cajun seasoning in the, in the um, flour that they fried it in. It's so crispy. I, I should have got that. Okay, so Juliet got the fried chicken sandwich. How was it? 10 out of 10. So crunchy. It's a little salty is my only plate, but it had this like nice coleslaw that was re tangy. It actually had like a kick of vinegar, so it really balanced it out. And then the bread was like chewy, doughy, but like just crispy right on the outside. I thought it was perfect. Unfortunately, that pretty mediocre dinner is going to do it for us today. A day full of firsts here at Disneyland. Honestly, I had a great day. One of my favorite things that we did was probably the canoes. It's something that I've heard about and seen videos of for so long, and I'm so happy that I finally got to do it. I want to thank my Patreon subscribers, Angela, Ashley, Barbara, the Cal Kane's family, Catherine, Lindsay, Misty, Shelby, Adam and Jen, and Brittany, Karis, Chelsea, Carol, Daniela, Marcel, Dante, Dustin and Nancy, Emily, Ethan, John Paul, Christina, Leah, Tori, Lisa, the Martell family, Michael, Pickle, the Latham Thomas family, Tracy, Wayne, Jermaine, Eric, the Weaver family, Janet and Gary, Stephen, Andrea, Jessica, and the Leibowitz family. Since I do come to the Disney parks so often, not Disneyland as much as Disney World, of course, since I live over in Orlando, uh, it's always fun to get to experience new things in the park. Um, so yeah, really great day. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to conclude all of my Disneyland videos, so I'll see you guys back in Orlando. Bye!